you know, just constant. Continuing with the roll cage, it takes some time, especially with this ambitious project we're doing with it. But we'll also be taking out the engine, the transmission today, uh, some stuff from underneath the car. So we'll be lifting it up later on and uh, just cleaning it out a little bit more. We started the car early today and it works, so woo! Casper is bending shit. Bending shit. I've gone, Are I've you been, using that as a weapon? I've been promoted from grinder to bender. So we're making a pipe go from the main roll cage all the way to the front to the stub nose. After that we're going to create a, a little bumper out of pipes just to protect the front of the car so that if it, anything happens there's you know that part is secure and nothing will happen to the engine or the tires or the wheels. And then obviously we need to mirror it from that side to this side. Wait until you see what color we chose. If for the worst case scenario you were to hit or someone were to hit you, the only real thing that's holding you in place is this, this, and here. That yeah. doesn't count for the fact that someone hits you from the rear or if someone hits you from the side. So we're gonna add another piece here to basically create a fender. So one piece from here to hit this. This is the strongest section of the car right now. So that's gonna be welded onto this side. It's the same thing on the other side. <laughs> yeah, so we're just talking about wiring harnesses, maybe a computer, maybe something like that, but still not sure. So, and the reason why we want to get a new computer is that. The wiring harness in this is so heavy, um, well, it's not super heavy, but it definitely will help with lightening down the car even more, because we want to keep it around 2,500 pounds with me in the car. Right now it's just under, two, I think it's 2,300 from what we checked last night's video. And also with the amount of dust in this thing, we can definitely shit some weight. We're going to put a pipe from here across, but very thin pipe, it's like a uh, like a 25 millimeter. These are like 38, like much smaller than this. And basically what that's gonna do is, it's gonna give us a straight edge to run our uh, plexiglass or Lexan, you know, as a windshield that is removable. We're gonna have uh, rib nuts here, four here, four on top, four there, and four here. So eight screws will hold the front windshield. Sometimes you wanna like, uh, run a like an open face helmet and you know we want some kind of protection actually that's good you know because i want to do the reaction videos and we do reaction videos you want open face helmets yeah. so you can see the face obviously because yeah. in a normal helmet you won't be able to see that xxl condom <laughs> <laughs> perfect timing we're just matching up the two bars on the side i mean if, it, if you didn't care about how it looks it's easy because you just you know one pipes to make everything strong but we really want to make this thing look good left and right. We know a lot of people are going to walk around it and see all the details and stuff. And we don't want them to have anything to critique. Yeah. You know, so we're going to do our part in making it symmetrical. Okay, copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> Go one side on. Tack, tack. Basically, you look at the configured side-ish of the yeah. car. Yeah, we're done with the side. I think. 
<laughs> put them there without like adding more weight. Yeah, no, we're gonna add the sheet metal. I'll stand far. I'll show you something. But we started with no sheet of paper, nothing. It's just out of our imagination. So the idea was to make it symmetrical, left, right, front, and back. We want to make this thing look like you don't know if it's coming to you or going away. <laughs> so, do you notice these pipes here match these pipes here? It's, I mean, it just flows together. What do you think? All right, we're uh, stopping for today. See you tomorrow. Back in the shop once again. Uh, we're gonna take out the car, put it on the lift, take some stuff from underneath, make sure the roll cage is sitting all tight. Let's do it. We're watching now. The master. Well, some say the master, others say the cameraman doing some work. <laughs> well done, you forgot that nut, that nut, that nut, that nut, the other one here. Yeah, they're is bigger. There's one, two, three, four. Bigger, all bigger. Okay. Yeah, how do you take care of my toolbox? I take very good care of your toolbox. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't actually have a toolbox. Yeah, but now I have one and I'm really like attached to well, it. Well, seeing as that there's a, oh man, homie found it. Is that the one you need? Yay! Listen, when it comes to cutting, you guys are A, not talking to the right person, and B, it's my job. So leave me alone and I'll, I'll decide when to cut. I'm so glad I edit these videos. <laughs> A few moments later. Ah! at this moment that he knew he fucked up run run we almost lost control of the engine but we saved it it's fine we're gonna put it on some blocks <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Come on, You're do it, please, please. I can't, I need like a 360 camera on my head to record like everything that happens. Casper is basically sitting in the engine bay like <laughs> So moving the engine just to the side, it needs to get refurbished, need to work on that. But now we have access to everything we need to clean up the engine bay, so we're gonna get rid of all of this here. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna cut whatever we don't need. Just make it super, super clean. So you look at this car and it's almost show car value. Everything's gonna be painted as well. The plans we have. I wish I could tell you. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Maji. We need to sit down and plan out tomorrow well, well, what tomorrow is gonna bring and we'll go from there. Yeah, man. So we need to clean up this engine tomorrow, probably, you know, look at what we can replace the transmission with. What is tomorrow? Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye. Somebody tried to use a cola can or something like that as part of the pushing assembly.